Um, labor shortage is a problem that continues to plague our industry. We had conversations before we got started about the continuing nature of that problem. Why do you think the problem exists? And what is Mayor can you to do to assist our industry in dealing with it? A couple of things. Um, um, I have read a fair amount about the labor shortage, and um, one thing that you all are probably aware of that happened that was unexpected by workforce experts is that many of the baby boomers who had said they wanted to continue working, well then the pandemic hit, and many of them exited the workforce. That was unexpected by the industry. Um, secondly, I think the pandemic really changed people's mindset in a lot of ways. People, Some people realized they weren't doing something they enjoyed, and they got out of the workforce to look at the lay of the land and that sort of thing. Pay was an issue, and many of you as business owners know you raised your pay, so that has helped. Let me tell you what I've done as mayor. Um, we have formed, under my leadership, WorkLex, Work Lex is housed right down the street in the Charles Young Center. And we let anyone drop in who needs to start working on their uh, resume, their uh, soft skills, so that they can apply for jobs. We have about 14 partners who are part of that, and it is starting to see some success. We have increased the numbers of our youth in our summer youth job program up to 300. Those youth go into businesses and work for the summer, and then they have an opportunity to continue to work with those businesses. And then the other, the other thing we did that we have never, ever done as a city is the city sponsored a joint expungement, expungement and job fair day. We had almost 400 people come through. Those are people who are now applying for and getting jobs. So we have done a lot of things along the way. So obviously there's a lot of literature out there. We can all look into the myriad of reasons people are leaving the workforce. But you can, you can look at the effects that it's having when you see how much more debt people are taking on. You can see a lot of people have gone back to school, taken a lot more debt. That these aren't necessarily sustainable trends. And I know that sometimes you'll hear people talking about the economy, they'll say, unemployment's down, look how strong our economy is. Well, that's exactly the opposite. That's actually understanding the opposite of what's happening. We need more people to be in these jobs. Saying unemployment is down, as a good thing for the economy right now is similar to saying we've got too many ice sculptures on the Titanic, right? It's, it's not the relevant piece of information. We need to get more people into these jobs. What that means is in the short term, we need to make sure that our companies can operate at a profit, that they can get out there, hire more people, make sure that they can be enticing people at the rates that they're looking for. We need to make sure that the government isn't stepping in to interfere in those kind of situations so that we can help to train people, help to get them into these positions, but allow you guys to drive the train. Because at the end of the day, it's gonna be a few years, our economy is in a tumultuous position. People, like I said, they've left for many reasons, they may come back, they may not. But there's going to be another generation of people stepping up, we need to be ready, we need to be able to provide for them, we need to make sure we have an economic standard that's going to be beneficial for everybody to work, especially here in Lexington.